Hello everyone, uh, Leo here, and I'm excited about the information what we bring you today. Today I have uh, good information for you. Three, key, three killer ad strategies for realtors using Facebook ads. Uh, so let's see. Let me minimize the camera here so I can continue providing the information. All right. Uh, so yeah, today for those of you that are realtors out there and are struggling, um, this information is for you, right? We have three killers uh, strategies that I'm going to be sharing for those realtors uh, that are using Facebook ads. So we're going to be doing uh, little known ways to gain more real estate clients with Facebook marketing. Now. Uh, before we get started, first, I wanted to share with you, if you haven't uh, joined us yet, I want to invite you to be part of our Facebook community. I'm going to be putting the links below or in the description above. It all depends where you're watching this video, right below or above, um, to join our uh, group community, Traffic Factory for Real Estate Agents, uh, just basically um, send a request, I'll add you, you'll see the list of prior trainers, prior trainings, not all, only that, but also I'll be going live with, uh, that I can be answering your questions, right? I'll be going live, making some trainings like this and answering questions, um, from you that you may have. Also, you know, if you <clears throat> would like my information, if you want to, stay updated with my information as well go ahead and uh look at my facebook page leo m callejas or online marketing with leo uh like it um what else uh notifications on turn that on so that way you can uh get notified whenever i do live videos as well providing some more trainings uh same with the group if you are part of the group uh notifications make sure they are on um, all right, so let's get started. Facebook ads for real estate agents, right? The Facebook ad platform in Facebook provides some of the most effective and precise demographic and behavior targeting marketing out of any marketing platform, whether it's traditional or digital. And now if you have not um, taken the chance to explore the Facebook um platform ads platform i recommend you to go and check it out and i'll probably be asking yourself how do i do that uh there's many ways you can get to it but basically all you had to do if you're on your computer uh click the little triangle and i recommend you to do it from your computer that way you get the full experience right and your phone can be really slow uh or if you're using the mobile version uh it, you don't get to see all the features that the ad money or facebook offer all right, so the little triangle, create, create ads, manage ads, that's one way to get there. But that's not what today's training is about, so let's go ahead and continue. Uh, since many agents do not leverage the Facebook fantastic ad platform, there is a clear opportunity for agents willing to learn to gain a competitive advantage under local competition, which is still stuck implementing old school traditional marketing strategies. So guys, this is an open market over here, right? This is an open, this is a platform that is still wide open. I recommend you to get in as soon as possible. Um, more and more big brands are starting to invest more into it. So prices is just um, going to rise, but it's never late to get started. Start today, start learning this. If you are struggling to generate leads, um, I recommend you to start, uh, you know, seeking for more up-to-date strategies than using the old traditional, you know, just cold, cold calling. I mean, don't get me wrong, those things still work, right? But don't rely just on cold calling, word of mouth, flyers, email mailers, and stuff like that. Um, you know, try to be up-to-date where people are actually hanging out in your market. The Facebook ad platform offers a rich, diverse, and deep level of targeting options. Two of the broad areas include interests and behaviors. And we're going to be covering more about that. What, what, what you may be asking yourself, what are behaviors, what are interests, which then can be further segmented geographically among many other segments and variables. 
But let's see how this targeting works, how laser focus you can get with uh, your Facebook marketing and how it can benefit real estate lead generation. So the first tactic we have here is that with your Facebook, you can actually target people that are likely to move. Now, obviously, Facebook gathers data from many other companies and they invest heavily into this because you got to you got to keep in mind uh, one of the great revenues sources of revenue from Facebook for the investors are big company pouring money money into it to advertise on their platform. All right. So Facebook has a behavior category for people that are that is called likely to move. And that is very fantastic, right? Con con consumers consumers um, that are likely to move probably have higher likelihood of needing a real estate agent. Obviously, right? That can be many different things. It could be people move, likely to move to another apartment, to rent a house, but still there's a, a big portion of there that are likely to move. Our, their intentions are to buy a house so obviously that's when you want to get in as a real estate agent uh, Facebook knows who these consumers are from its rich behavior data sets that include both online and off offline data about custom consumers don't get too hang up on this um, I know this is a lot of a uh, little bit confusing but basically Facebook knows a lot about you that's all you have to know they knows a lot about us right um, it also collects uh, data from partners so don't get surprised it means Facebook buys my information from uh, other companies yes they do um, and companies are there selling your information as well uh, for everything that we sign up, right? Um, suppose you're a broker in San Diego. Okay, we're gonna be a, we're gonna use a, an example here of a broker in San Diego, right? That specializes in the areas of away. I don't know how to say that, Rancho Bernardo and Scripps Ranch. I'm not from San Diego, so I don't know. I'm not familiar with any of the areas, but I added a map here, kind of to let you know. Okay, so here's the main San Diego city. And here are the um, areas that this article is talking about. All right, so it cover is talks about the specific areas. I think those are areas that have high household income level. Uh, see, it says mostly there are upper middle income neighborhoods uh, with households incomes above a hundred thousand per year. Suppose you are broker in San Diego and you specialize in the areas. Um, oh, that's the repetition. Let me remove that. These are forms that I'm gonna put into my back off in the in the back office that um, where you can go set up your free account to get uh, the rest of the trainings that we have in reference about Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever else that comes out. Right, I'm there learning for uh, for you guys, um, so that way you don't have to spend a lot of time researching the, the, what the latest strategies is, as opposed to just uh, coming, ask me questions, and I will do my best to answer help you out and research uh, more if needed all right so laser targeted fa facebook cementation if we pull si uh, the zip codes uh, within those areas that, that we're talking about if you can see the little map with the zip codes over here this is what um, uh, a screenshot of one of the uh, Facebook ads section, the, one of the ads manager sections that it looks like when you are building uh, an ad, right? Um, so just by putting the zip code, leaving this specific age range, uh, the, the gender, you can see that, well, we don't see it over here, but um, that has a potential reach of 88,000, right? But then when, if you go into the ads manager, and obviously this may, this number may, be, may not be the same, right? Um, if you do a search right now, but at that time that we're doing the search, just by adding under the detailed targeting, uh, a behavior category of likely to move, that number went down from 88,000 to 4,600 people, which means it's really, really precise on the, um, uh, the amount of people that Facebook is going to go. But think about this, right? You want to go and start yelling at people that, uh, that doesn't need your service or you want to start in yelling at people that do want your service or are looking for services services that you offer 
So the beauty of Facebook ads for real estate agents is that you can continue to layer the targeting and get even more precise and focused. What it means is basically, um, if you can see over here, it says detailed targeting, uh, but let's see, so uh, right here, for example, it says detailed targeting, right? You put something over here, but then you can press a button that will say narrow audience, and then you can put another um, uh, behavior or another type of targeting, right? So what it, what it's saying is, okay, out of the people that are likely to move, let me know which ones are have this specific uh, level of income, right? Yearly income. So what that does is basically it brings the number even lower, right? Because it excludes uh, all the people that that uh that are likely to move that doesn't have this level of income uh living within this specific area so that should help you see right there how um targeted this can be it says over here pre-qualified potential home buyers and obviously the pre-qualifications pre we have done so far obviously has been the household income uh the age range right um in this example, probably is that we're talking about the age range because maybe the they the, uh, they they know that twenty eight and up are the ones that are more responsible. I don't know why the age range. You can you can try different things, right? You can try younger. Uh, you can try twenty eight, sixty five. That's 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 something that only you um, uh, can uh, try and test about your specific area. It. it you know what works for one agent may not work for another one so be willing to try uh, and test different things all right target people that have an interest in realtor.com and silo so um in for example what it's saying is besides adding these specific uh behaviors right you can also add interest of people that perhaps men like realtor.com and Silo, and the reason why is because obviously people that are they have an interest in these two sites is because they are more likely looking to uh, uh, houses. Now, uh, don't get too hung up on this because um, just think about yourself. You you see so many different things on Facebook, and at some point you better like something that you like at that point. Like for example. Uh, in my case, uh, I perhaps would be liking Realtor.com or Shilo when I was uh, looking for a, buy, a house to buy, right? Um, but at this point, right, I got my house, and so I may not need, I, I don't need Realtor.com or Shilo.com anymore, at least for now. I mean, if, if they show up with commercial, it's fine, but it's not something that I'm actually looking for. So don't get too hung up that this is... Uh, you know uh, where you're gonna find a lot of people there are a lot of people that like these pages so it's a combination of different things that will make this work uh you can also target first time home buyers um they, this could help i don't know i guess uh insurance agents facebook even has um you as a realtor home ownership first time home buyer i i i guess I don't know how Facebook gathered this data. I don't know if it's, uh, it gathers the data of people that just bought their place or people that actually they be the first house they buy. Um, we can actually go to the Facebook Ads Manager and see uh, if we can pull something up. Um, let's see. Because this, there are there are description there that tells you what is it that um, Facebook Ads Manager is looking at, right? Uh, so let's see, let's see if I can uh, create campaign. Uh, no, I don't want to do this. I want to go to Ads Manager. And then we were at uh, and do a create campaign. And then uh, as an audience, well, I gotta choose something first. So let's choose whatever. Continue audience. Uh, apologize, bear with me here. I uh, just wanna 
you know show you what um, if you're not sure about something you can always google it or you can definitely write um, you can always google it or go to the ask manager and figure out okay what is it exactly that, that uh, the description will say about that uh, so first time home, home buyer this the description that it has is this audience segments target consumers who are likely to be first time okay so it's not people that bought it's probably it, it's probably it, it, whatever it says is that from all the information that Facebook has about us uh, Facebook will determine basically who are likely to be a first time home buyer not that specifically are a first time home buyer uh, right at this moment obviously again um, it, it takes information from third party as well from other companies um, so obviously the don't think it's 100% accurate, but obviously it's pretty close to to uh, the accuracy is pretty pretty good on Facebook. Um, all right, so tactic number two that we have it says integrating Facebook ads with traditional advertising. So if you are continued, if you, if you are still a believer or is investing money into postcards, flyers, or uh, you know paper newspapers, um, continue doing that, but. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think you should start redirecting the majority of, of your advertising budget towards other new um, uh, strategies. Well, little by little, right? First of all, you got to figure out what works for yourself, but definitely start investing more into um, uh, social media platforms just because people are investing a lot more time in it it's, and it could be much more effective and cheaper than uh, any of the other traditional uh, marketing strategies. Or platforms today consumers need an average of 12.4 sources before making a purchase decision um, source over here is from think with Google uh, what it says over here is basically people nowadays more likely you have to see something 12 times before buying obviously not all the time that happens right uh, a lot of times Specific, especially if we got an issue right there, right? We have a hole somewhere or we need a hole somewhere and have a drill. Obviously, the very first time that I see, I may see a drill, I may go. Even then, I may be looking at different drills and, and, and trying to figure out what is exactly that I want. But uh, something that is not such a, with such a uh, urgent matter, something that you want, you may need to see it 12 times before. That's what he's saying over here. An average uh, person over here, an average buyer will look at something 12 times before an average before making the purchase decision uh, what tells us about consumer behavior is that multiple impressions are important to maintain mind share so keep in mind right you sending just one piece of marketing will not do a lot for your for your uh for your uh, real realtor business uh, because again, people need to see you over and over and over. You got to build that relationship, that trust with your local market. Um, that's part of what I do these videos, right? I do, I do this video so you, you know we there's there's um, uh, th there's some type of interaction between you and me, even though we haven't even talked talk to each other. But also, you know, going to live videos on the Facebook group uh, creates that closure as well to get to so that you get to know me and I get to know you as well. So what do the majority of people do when they get a postcard promoting an agent or property listing? They toss in the garbage. What did the single impression cost? It was the cost of a postcard and its distribution. So probably somewhere between uh, 20 cents to 65 cents. Um, so something that you pay about 50 cents for and just one single impression and something that probably will more likely be toss to the garbage the very first time or kids will toss it to the garbage and, and the actual you know person that has the buy power will never see it that's very high likely to it so that's what he's saying even here if you can combine um you know your facebook ads throw some of those ads first or whatever flyer you're trying to send uh to those people right and because it, with the the great thing about facebook is that if you get a mailer list with uh, emails, phone numbers, uh, you can upload that information to Facebook and send it to, you know, to people for much cheaper and, and, and not to just see it once, but multiple times, whatever advertisement you're trying to send to them. Now,
keep in mind the social media is 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 that is social so they'll be trying to push hey you know buy from me hey i'm your the best realtor in play in in, in town buy from me those are other strategies we cover in different places so there's a little bit of strategy about building up a a, a good um marketing campaign on facebook uh but definitely it's as you can see it's much cheaper and easier to reach um using facebook ads or other social media platforms if you are going to you know black in a zip code with postcards at least integrate complementary facebook ads promoting your services to the same zip codes this will produce a, produce a lift in response to your postcards all right so facebook ad tactics number three uh bring awareness with mortgage brokers for more referrals so basically try to partner up with uh, some mortgage brokers right job, you can do uh job title searches within facebook uh ads managers would, would allow you to specifically target those mortgage brokers um because they are a good source of referrals right they are out there have a list of people that uh, uh may need loans right they get people calling them for loans so there are definitely good referrals because some people may be calling for loans but they may not have a realtor yet uh, so if you want to create awareness with um, of your real estate services with mortgage brokers you can definitely use facebook ads for that in this example for uh, it was for um, again the zip codes uh, you can use the the age demographic right right the age range and then you can put for job titles you can put or anything related with mortgage uh, broker banker in your area uh, now in this specific case as you can see the reach is less than a thousand so very few people they're going to be reaching the cost may be a little bit higher but obviously you're going to be reaching specifically to those people uh, that you want to reach which are the home the mortgage broker um, so in conclusion, I gave you three Facebook ads tactics that you know you as a real estate broker professional or as a real estate agent should be implementing quickly to grow hyper focus and brand awareness and leads. If you want to gain a strong competitive advantage over your slower, less sophisticated peers, Facebook ads for real estate agents are one fantastic way to grow your business and local market share. Um, so again let, i can't stress this enough you know try to be on facebook more or social media try to have a a, um, a more of a present online um if you're not doing anything right now then you're gonna be left behind because um social media is where it's at which where people are spending time uh online I, I know I do. The three tactical strategies presented above are just the tip of the iceberg, right? There are so many more targeting options with Facebook. You can be incredibly targeted and endlessly creative in how you reach the home buyer's audience. Don't let your competitors get ahead of you. Um, what I want to do is invite you to, again, to um, our Facebook group community, right? Traffic Factory for Real Estate Agents, which I'm going to be posting information above or below, depending on where I put this or um, you can reach me on my business page leo m callejas or facebook.com forward slash online marketing with leo um, again i'm gonna be putting the information above or below um, so you can um, get to those pages or facebook group uh, we also have i like it and also i want to again remind you about the free video course that we put together that will show you step by step how to get clients from facebook ads easy and effective um, i am on facebook all the time i'm on twitter all the time running ads i'm on uh, instagram all the time running ads and other strategies so why not take advantage of what i'm what my knowledge right so that you can save the time on uh, researching all this you know this is information you can find on youtube strategies maybe not some of the strategies that i cover of course um, but you know why not go ahead and um, uh, you know spend some time in learning uh, with me and asking some questions all right i hope this information was helpful looking forward on uh talking to you soon by the way if you find this information helpful uh just get go ahead and please leave it, give it a like uh share it if you know somebody that may need this information go ahead and comment below if you have any questions and i'll see you later bye